Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mark and I thank you so much for coming by today. Now this is a little bit of a different review. I'm reviewing a Doc Artisan sport wallet that I got for my new phone. Now I had an old Doc Artisan wallet, uh, it's a sport wallet, that I bought for my old iPhone about five or six years ago I guess. I'm not sure how long ago I got it. But I have absolutely loved this old wallet. That's what you're seeing here. This is my old one. And it's still in absolutely great shape. I love this thing, except the new phone that I have is much bigger. So here you have this um, wonderful leather wallet that smells like an old baseball glove. And it has this iPhone case that actually snaps on magnetically to this backing here. So you can remove the phone and just take that with you in one direction, or you can remove the wallet and take that in another direction, but it folds up to have an all-in-one unit. So I didn't like having to take a wallet and a phone and have a phone case and all that stuff. So this cost me about $85 retail, so it wasn't cheap, but it fits all my credit cards, driver's license, and all that stuff right in there, and it's just perfect for all the things I needed. I had been searching for this kind of a wallet phone case for a long time. Uh, it has a nice little tuck away spot here for money and I, I've put receipts and stuff in there and it never gets so bulky that it is a problem. Yes, there is limited space in those credit card slots, but it's never, I've never run out of space. It's never been a case where I've said, oh gee, I need more stuff in here. It's forced me to keep less stuff in here, uh, which I like, only the things that I really need. So it minimizes the things that I need to carry with me, it focuses on what's most important, credit cards, uh, insurance card, driver's license, and so forth. Now the only drawback that I've ever had with this phone case is right here. This little corner piece kind of came up a little bit. The glue wore off, I had banged it a couple of times in that one spot, and that little piece of leather came off. So that's the only part of this that has ever sort of fallen apart on me. Every other piece of it, this piece here in the corner is kind of getting wonky, but overall this is the only piece that's ever been a problem. And I can just super glue that. It's not like it's a big deal. So the rest of this wallet has held together. The stitching is fantastic. It's a really strong yet soft wallet. As you can see here, I bought a new iPhone XR and it's just far too big for this case. I can't use it. And I was really disappointed that I couldn't use it, but I knew that was gonna happen when I bought it. So I decided I'm gonna invest in another one specifically for this new iPhone. So here it is, I'm unboxing this now. This is the new uh, Sport Wallet V5 from Doc Artisan. It's a sport brown wallet, brown leather, uh, really nice. It's exactly kind of what I expected when I first opened the box. Uh, comes with a screen protector for the phone, which I really like. I won't get into how that goes on because there's tons of videos out there. And <laughs> it comes with a little card that has all the instructions and product features and how to use all this stuff. So I won't get into how to apply the uh, plastic you know, screen shield here. That's something you can probably <laughs> figure out on your own. But um, the first thing I'm looking at here is this case. This is the actual iPhone case. It has the cutaway at the top for the camera. You notice the uh, old one I had was horizontal, but this one's vertical. Now there's a lot of differences here. They didn't put the leather stripping on the side. They didn't put um, the cutaways for the buttons and things. It's all a one solid unit, which I will have to get used to, but I think it's a better idea to do this than to have all those cutaways, because you can see in the old case that it's, there's a lot of dust and stuff that got in there over the years. Uh, the back, it has stitching on the back of the new one, which I don't know why, but it's only glued down because you can't stitch through plastic. But I will say this, the newer case feels a little bit flimsier than the old one. The old one is rock hard and you can't bend this thing. It's really rugged and really sturdy. And anytime I've ever kind of dropped my phone, even lightly, it's just felt like nothing's gonna happen to my phone. It has the soft backing, which I kind of wish it had in the newer case. Uh, it's leather in the old case, plastic in the new case. So, you know, the, the actual case itself, it feels a little flimsier, it feels a little looser, but it still feels strong. I'm not complaining about it, it's just, it feels a little bit, a little bit less quality than the old phone case that I had. It looks great once the phone is snapped in. I love the yellow phone that I bought, but you know, it gets hidden by this phone case, which is okay, I'm not really worried about that. But it does fit nice and snug and no problems with that. Again, this is the screen protector, which I'll put on later. I ended up putting it on later anyway, 
and it worked just fine. So if you follow the instructions, you'll be just fine. So what I wanna talk about now is the actual wallet itself. What you're seeing here is a cleaned up version of the wallet, different from when I first opened the box, because when I first opened the box, I was very surprised to find this strange, milky, gritty, sandy, yet very sticky substance all over the wallet. I was very disturbed because it was highly sticky to my fingers and it didn't wipe off very easily. I used a soft cloth to try to wipe it off and it just didn't come off. You can see at the top, it's almost like someone smeared this stuff on the top panel there and it was over on the side panel as well along with some scratches and some stitching issues that I had concerns about. So I contacted Doc Artisan to find out more information. They said it's a protective sealant that the manufacturer uses and that it helps protect over time and like a good wine it just gets better with time. Well I don't know when I see smears across <laughs> the top of the product it had me concerned and I think it's personally just sloppy manufacturing because I never saw this at all with my old wallet. This wallet costs about a hundred dollars which the old wallet that I had was only eighty five dollars and there's not much difference in size and it's only been a few years so it's a little bit more expensive to buy the new wallet versus the old one and you can see the size difference there I'll take Doc Artisan's word for it. They actually offered me to return it if I was unsatisfied, but like I said, I cleaned it up enough that I'm, I'm pretty happy with it right now, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. The wallet itself actually performs just like the old one. There's plenty of room for credit cards, although this is a lot deeper with the pockets, so if you have smaller credit cards, they could get buried down there. I don't mind that and it doesn't bother me at all. It's just that the wallet's a lot taller. So there could have been room for another pocket there, but they chose to put the same amount of pockets as the old one, which is just fine with me. The better thing is when I tuck the money in here, it actually goes all the way in instead of sticking out. So I like that a lot too. The only other thing that I will complain about is the flap. And for me, it's maybe there's a reason for this and I'll explain that. The old wallet on the uh, right hand side had a very strong magnetic connection to the flap and it was very tight and hard to even pull apart so it felt very secure. The newer wallet feels very thin and it comes apart very easily. I was concerned because it didn't feel like it was going to keep the wallet closed so you could just kind of flap it open and it just didn't feel very secure like this old wallet. This thing was really tight and I really liked the way it connected. In contrast, the back of the wallet with the phone case, the magnetic connection is much stronger than the old phone case, <laughs> which is strange because this thing just snaps right on there. It's super tight and it feels very secure with this wallet. So that makes me actually happy because at least I know my phone's not just gonna fall off this thing. It is really secure and really tight. So I was thinking maybe the flap issue is because people complain that it was too hard to get the flap open on the old case so they maybe put a thinner piece in there or just made it less of a tight connection so it's easier to open if that's not a problem for me then this is fine and I can I can just live with it the sticky stuff I got it off but it did have some scratches and things so that was kind of a downside and I did pay for overnight shipping which was $22 and 60 cents I think and they actually don't offer overnight they it's on their website and everything but they told me that the best they could do is two-day priority shipping it ended up coming in three days but <laughs> So in the end, it's more expensive and uh, I love the wallet, so I'm going to keep it. But uh, there were some minor issues that I had with it. Overall, I love their products and hopefully it's going to be as durable and strong as my last wallet. And that's my take on this new Sport Wallet V5 from Doc Artisan. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're well and I hope everybody's doing great. Have a great night. Thank you and God bless.